Yo, what is going on, guys? Your boy Proud here. I'm back with another Wi Fi battle. We post wins, loses, draws. There's gonna be a question middle of the video at the end of the video. And, guys, I got a very crazy battle for you guys, man. Crazy battle. You don't want to miss this. Um, I'm battling against my boy, the man, the myth, the legend, my boy, Joy Fontaine. Joy Fontaine had his YouTube channel for like 20 years, man. Uh, he battled from the new guys like Just Weave Out, me, to the OGs like Show Food, man. He's done it all, man. Um, also, guys, I'm going to show you guys my team sets at the end of the video. And um, with that being said, man, um, looking at my opponent's team, he's working with some crazy threats, man. You know what I mean? You got the Great Tusk, um, Corviknight, the freaking, um, what you call it, Shampoo, could probably be Choice Bandit or something, uh, as Spathra. But let's get started, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, also guys, I do have that double battle for you guys, so you know what I mean, don't even worry about it. Um, I'm gonna upload that uh, probably like a day or two, you know what I mean, um, and let's get started, man, let's get. So um, he's gonna lead off with uh, Great Tusk, and I'm going to my God of War. So if you guys haven't noticed, this God of War is actually a Trace God of War, but it can't copy um, the Paradox Pokemon's ability. I'm not really sure why, but um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, so here I am going to copy the Corviknight's ability. And here I know that the Corviknight was going to come in. So I decided just to go for a trick here. Give this thing um, a cool handkerchief to go with his uh, nice shiny. So I'm right, all right. I'm going to get the Rocky Helmet here. And here I decided to just go for the Moon Blast. I know I'm going to stay on speed Corviknight. Yes, um, nobody puts speed EVs on Corviknight. Imagine that choice scarf Corviknight meta. But um, anyways, its ability is going to activate and um, he's going to go for a U-turn here. And uh, he's going to get the Rocky Helmet. I'm like, all right, Rocky Helmet damage. So here he's going to go out to this goddamn cheetah Pokemon, man. This Pokemon is such a problem, man. You know what I mean? Like, these Pokemon, they need to be banned, yo. I don't know why they ain't banned him. You know what I mean? They banned Chief crazy. But um, anyways, this thing's going to hit me with a nice slash. So that's enough to take out my Gardevoir, man. Crazy. So... It is what it is, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I decided to go into my uh, Volcarona. So I was expecting him to switch out and go into, I think, the Great Tusk or the Corviknight. So I decided to go for a will o -Wisp here and um, burn something. But he actually stays in and go for the Night Slash. I'm like, oh, man. And, I mean, that's a good play on his part. That's a bad that bad prediction on my part. I mean, it, it's kind of good because, you know what I mean, this thing is burnt now. So um, he is able to hit me with another nice slash, and that, that's enough to take out my full corona, man. So this thing is a huge, huge threat, you know what I mean? Question of the day, guys. What is your favorite ruined Pokemon? What is your favorite ruined Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments. Um, For me, I like Ting Lu, man. Ting Lu is so dope. It's crazy. But um, now I know that this thing is Choice Bandit, I decided to go into my uh, Gotchop. Because we do have the rough skin and rocky helmet. And I'm here. He decides to go into uh, Corviknight. I'm like, all right, that's fine, man. Because what I'm trying to do is give everybody choice scars, specs, all that grand stuff. And hazards. But I'm um, here. I decided to go for the Dragon Tail. And um, he's going to go for the U-turn. So he is going to get some rough skin and some rocky helmet damage. I'm like, good, 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 good. And I'm here. He's going to go out to the Great Tusk. So... I'm like, all right, that's fine. You know what I mean? I, uh, he's going to get some Stealth Rock damage. I go for the Dragon Tail. I'm like, I missed the Dragon Tail, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Small ass tail. So, Great Test is going to eat some leftovers here. And uh, here, I decided just to go for the Earthquake here. See how much damage that's going to do. And judging by that damage, this is definitely a uh, max HP, max defense. Um, whatchamacallit uh great tusk here and um the great tusk is gonna go for the stealth rocks here with stink but um i'm like it is what it is you know what i mean um great tusk is gonna eat some leftovers here and i'm here i decided to just go for the dragon tail here so um he does go for the rapid spin again and um this rapid skin is gonna boost his speed but he's gonna get some rough skin damage and some um uh, rocky helmet damage good good damage and i'm here i am gonna go for the dragon tail so at the range that this Great Tusk is at now, it's going to be um, killable later. So um, here, uh, I do hit this thing and I go into, he goes into Corviknight. So Corviknight do get hit with the Stealth Rock damage and um, I can't do much to this, um, I mean, yeah, he's going to go for the Roost here and I can't do much to this Corviknight here except for the Dragon Tail and the bad news is that he does go for the Roost, man. So this thing is annoying, even with the Choice Scarf. But um, 
Now he goes out. Now um, Gastrodon comes in. I'm like, all right, whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks here. Um, I'm expecting a water move, but most Gastrodon do have the Ice Beam here. So um, this is Gary the Snail Pokemon. is going to hit me with an Ice Beam and down with my Gosh Chomp. This guy is whooping my buttocks right now. <laughs> it is crazy, man. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so here I'm going to go into my real time here. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go straight for a Leaf Storm. You know what I mean? Hopefully he doesn't go into Corviknight, but he actually stays in. And I'm able to get that off, man. Splendid, man. I'm really happy with that. So. Gastrodon is gone now, and um, my my road time is out here, man. Crazy. So yeah, he's gonna go out to this rotten plum um, turkey, uh, Aspathra, and um, I'm like, all right, something's gonna have to go away because I I don't want to take this uh take a move to with this thing. This thing is like a beast, and I'm um, here. I decided just to sacrifice my great tusk. I mean, I don't really need it for this match. Um. Except my real time. So um, he is going to hit me with Illumina Crash. And that's enough to take out my Great Toss, man. Crazy. But um, I'm like, you know what? Here, here, I actually make a really uh, questionable play. Really, really stupid play, actually. <laughs> it's, just, it's just stupid. Um, I go into my Dragonite here, right? And we do have the Heavy Duty Boots. And here, I switch out. And I go into the um, go into the real time. Expecting him to go into Corviknight. But he doesn't. And here, um, I'm going to get some hit, hit with the Stealth Rock damage. And um, he's going to Terrestrialize here. I'm like, oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. Because I'm like, what is he going to Terrestrialize into? So here, he Terrestrialized Fighting. I'm, ex I'm assuming that he was expecting me to Terrestrialize into Normal. But um, he Terrestrialized Fighting here. And um, here, he's going to go for the uh, Terror Blast. And... Um, by that damage, that is definitely enough to take out my real time, man. You know, with the stab boost. So, my real time is gone now. And now I'm down to my last Pokemon, man, my Dragonite. And this thing is going to eat some, get some life swap damage. But the good thing is that, you know what I mean? He's he's at uh, low health where a, a plus one Dragon Dance will be able to take it out. So, um, here I go out to the big Balboski. Dragonite, yo. Dra they got to ban Dragonite. They... Dragonite is a problem, man. He's always been a problem, man. That's why that's why him, like, he needs to be banned. And he's he, Blastoise and Porygon Z are my favorite Pokemon. But they, they need to be banned. He needs to be banned, bro. So I get a Dragon Dance up, right? I'm able to hit this thing with that extreme speed. Down goes this path, bro. We're, we're just getting started, guys. We're just getting started. So his path is down now, and um here he's gonna go into the Corviknight. I'm like, alright. What can this Corviknight do? He's going to probably have body press or U-turn and stuff like that. And we can eat that up. So here, I decided just to go for another Dragon Death. Expecting um, one of those moves. So now we're at a plus two here, right? And um, the Corviknight is actually going to go for a Brave Bird. Which I completely forgot it has. So um, it's going to go for a Brave Bird. But the good thing is that if we keep on roost roosting up, we're actually recovering more HP than he's um, putting out damage. So... Um, we're going to roost again, and here he's going to hit me with another Brave Bird. Brave Bird does some good damage, but not enough. And um, here he keeps on getting recoil damage. So um, I'm going to roost up again. I'm like, yo, man, Dragon, you got to take this home for the team. So um, he does go for another Brave Bird, and um, that's going to do heaps to me again. I'm like, all right, we're going to roost again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know, I know spamming roost is like, ah, uh, it's frowned upon. But you know what? I need to win this because right now it's four against one, man. You know, we got to do the best that we can. But with the multi-scale up, so here, I decided to go for extreme speed. It lives a plus two extreme speed. Unbelievable, man. Corviknight is a problem. But um, with another brave bird, you know what I mean? He's going to kamikaze yourself. Down goes Corviknight. Let's Gibbs, man. So now that he's gone now, and um, here he's going to go into Crocodile. I completely forgot about Crocodile. So I'm like, all right, I want to, I want to terrestrialize here. So I do terrestrialize here, but I was afraid that this thing goes for an Aqua Jet or something like that. But I'm like, you know what? I have no wounds, baby. We are fucked, man. Let's put a gem on our ring, man. Let's put a gem on our head, man. You know what I mean? When you, uh, an engagement ring out here. So I'm here. I decided to go for the exchange speed. Get really fast on this thing. Sonic the Hedgehog. Down goes Crocodile, man. Let's give this, man. Let's give this. Guys, if you guys still watching this video, please like, subscribe for me, man. Come on. If you, if not for me, like for Dragonite, man. Dragonite is a problem. It's a problem, man. So 
Now he goes into Chan Power here, and Chan Power's gonna get him some stealth rock damage, and his ability's gonna activate. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a, a roost here, um, just to scout what he's gonna do. I know he's choice banded, so I was expecting a sucker punch, but um, here he's gonna go for the nice slash. I'm like, okay, perfect. So um, he's gonna get some burn damage here, and I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm gonna go straight for the extreme speed, just get mad at something. And um, here he's gonna go out to the Great Tusk. So. Great Tusk comes in, right? And uh, it's gonna get hit with some stealth rock damage. And um, I go for the uh, extreme speed, man. And look at this, man. Yo, Dragonite is a problem. A problem, guys. Like, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, so now his last Pokemon is the Champ Power and Chiff. Guys, yeah, I had to pose this up, man. This battle was crazy. It was a really, really fun battle, man. Uh, I'm gonna post Joey's um, channel. In the link in the description yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this battle you know what i mean and uh that's it man i'm out of here man all right peace